welcome to yet another video of edge learning platform today we will discuss about protein it is very important for science oriented objective exam especially for fso so don't forget to subscribe hit the bell icon for more notification today we are going to study about protein is a one type of macronutrient protein are natural polymers of amino acid it contain carbon nitrogen sulfur oxygen and hydrogen alpha amino acid linked through peptide linkage it has a polypeptide bond so protein is linked through a alpha amino acid linked through a peptide linkage first of all when you think about protein just you think about peptide peptide linkage it has polypeptide bond the percentage of carbon hydrogen oxygen sulfur and nitrogen carbon 53 percentage hydrogen 7 percentage oxygen 23 percentage sulfur 1 percentage nitrogen 16 percentage what are the biological importance of protein first of all protein which contains or which act as a plasma membrane which regulate transport of many substrate across cell membrane and protein some of the proteins are act as transport protein that is example is hemoglobin and next one is actin and myosin actin and myosin is a protein present in meat and it is a contractile contractile protein and sub muscle cell also and transferrin transferrin means transport iron in blood all receptors enzymes antibodies antibodies are pres present or are protein in nature lactase and pepsin the case of receptors and about the lactose and pepsin is in the case of enzyme it's not in the receptors choline and neurotransmit as a receptor and immune globulin globulin is antibody so definitely the question will ask like this which of the protein is in, is used for uh, antibodies and the option are given like this means you have to choose the correct one some protein are protective example is keratin keratin which contains skin hair and all storage protein is a galbubin seed protein so some of the protein which are the supportive that is collagen it's animal protein so there are so many important biological importance are there a good source of protein that is animal origin milk have good quality of protein meat also is good source of protein because animal have the right because animal have the amount of essential amino acid which are the source of animal food means which all animal food which contain the protein and it is how many how much percentage of proteins are included in it that is meat around 18.22 percentage milk 3.5 percentage egg white 
12 percentage fresh water fish 13 to 25 percentage so meat which contain 18.22 percentage milk 3.5 percentage egg white 12 percentage fresh water fish 13 in between 13 and 25 percentage or 13 to 25 percentage source of protein that's plant sources cereals pulses nuts oil seeds which all contain protein and wheat wheat which contain 12 to 13 percentage and what about rice rice contains 7.9 percentage gluten protein gluten is the protein which contain in wheat it's used for bread making and all and bengal gram dal which contain 20.8 percentage green gram dal which contain 24.5 percentage dry bean 24.9 percentage dry pea 19.7 percentage what about vegetables and oil seeds vegetables and oil seeds fresh vegetable bean 22 percentage carrot 1 percentage and in the case of oil seeds groundnut 26.7 percentage soya bean 43.2 percentage soya bean which contain high protein 43.2 percentage cotton seed 19.5 percentage sunflower 12.5 percentage so just you have to go through the numbers very clearly and try to do it one more two or three did and try to watch one around five times you have to hear and five times you have to continuously hearing and seeing the one thing means it will remember in your brain so proteins are molecules which yield amino acid upon hydrolysis are called protein protein are natural polymer of amino acid the number of amino acid in a protein molecule may range from two to several thousand Protein molecules contain nitrogen, carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Proteins are the basis of major structure component of animal and human tissue. They act as a biological catalyst from structural parts of organism, participate in different cell reaction, act as a molecule of immunity and also provide fuel. So, just classification of protein that simple protein conjugated protein and derived protein those which give amino acid only upon hydrolysis means simple and those which give an amino acid and non-protein group upon hydrolysis is derived as conjugated protein derived protein means those which are derived from simple and conjugated thank you for watching we will add more videos about protein. Like, share, and subscribe. Learning makes man different. So try to learn and achieve the goals and dreams of your life. Thank you.